Good morning, everyone. I'm James Bray. I'm the president of the American Psychological Association. And on behalf of the APA, I welcome you to this summit on the future of psychology practice. What happens in San Antonio must not stay in San Antonio. <laughs> Healthcare has been immune to the forces of faster, better, cheaper. Uh, it is the only industry, uh, largely because there's no global competition, um, that has been uh, left out of that process. If you take someone who's a diabetic and you don't manage their depression, you can't manage their diabetes. Today, we're going to drill down and examine the dominant forces that drive future events. Why? Because they will have a remarkable influence on the directions that the future of psychology practice takes. And in particular, there may be opportunities for expanding uh, psychosocial care to actually make the way we spend money in mental health care more cost effective. Uh, but that depends on what we give people and who gives it to them. And uh, that's where the hard work comes in. And that uh, rebalancing uh, calls for some pretty fundamental policy changes. And their policy changes by virtually all the stakeholders, uh, the payers, the regulators, and the professions. And uh, very little of it is likely to be pain free. Most people won't go to a mental health, a freestanding mental health center. We've studied this, and about 15% of people that we refer will go. And only about 50% of people for whom we get an appointment and say, Your appointment at the freestanding mental health center is at you know, 9 a.m. next Tuesday, only about 50% of those will show up. And your job is to go take that challenge and change it. Anybody here against psychology getting prescriptive authority should... <laughs> How much money went to medications? Why don't you want to go where all the money is and make it most appropriate? <laughs> I don't understand. Some of us are going to say, that's not psychology. Well, then resign. <laughs> uh, in that first curve, if you find yourself doing the same things that you used to do, and they're not working anymore, and you're exhausting yourself, and you're not getting the same results, that is an indication that the system is breaking down. The future of our profession depends on our ability to articulate very clearly in a nicely branded way to the public and to policymakers how we are different because we are different. We want you to know that this summit has been the start of something. It is not the end of something. It is the beginning.